How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today finally they've added back this uh, monstrosity so I wanted to go and take it for a little test drive, going to go and go on to the uh, summer proving grounds map uh, yeah I hope you all have a nice Christmas and everything mine was pretty good as well if I do say so myself, it was a pretty, uh, pretty good day to be honest good day slash night uh, yeah just quickly I mean this is obviously the monstrosity <laughs> it's a beast I ended up putting the tallest suspension, the strongest engine, the biggest tyres etc I decided I didn't really want to turn around in the garage but it was a good chance to give this thing a go squeeze the throttle fingers crossed and uh, yeah I could already tell by about now <laughs> it was definitely well up there that's what she said and um, yeah one of the things that I'll be using enjoying and keeping around in this game just it's obviously it's on such a ridiculous scale that it it opens up quite a lot of areas of the map that are just normally you know, roots of the map and stuff that are just nowhere near even remotely doable without anything else, but this thing, you just kind of aim it at most things and it'll kind of, yeah, claw its way up various things one way or another. You can tip it like that, but the good thing is it's obviously like weighted really low down, I assuming the wheels or the axles or something. The top seems to weigh the equivalent to nothing, so yeah, it returns back to its wheels a lot, which is good. Everything about it has been made just purely for fun and messing around when you've, uh, even if you've been playing like a serious game all night and that, it might be nice to just, yeah, whip this out at the end of the night, go flying around for 20 minutes, get a bit of that uh, frustration out, <laughs> and then, yeah, that's it. That's how I've had a, a good little blast of it so far. It's even there, it just kind of still finds its way uh, yeah, back to its wheels. As well, even crashing through trees and stuff, I take a few shortcuts in a minute across various places and uh, the wheels can kind of hit the trees but kind of go through and yeah, you'll see what I mean, it, uh, it makes it through a lot better than anything else is going to. Even here where the current's been holding a lot of these trucks I've tested back, for whatever reason, just tallness, power, whatever, it uh, motors its way up that river with no issue so currents for the most part aren't really a problem. I went to go and try high gear then. Uh, to be honest, I don't think high gear's that good in it. However, the auto gears is kind of like the high gears. It's just, you don't really need the high gears. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all been uh, accounted for. I'm just in the habit of naturally trying to drop things into high. So I do it every now and then. But for the most part, I'll just be leaving it in auto. Because, yeah, as you can hear, it's got plenty of power. It's got a nice sounding engine. Obviously looks pretty insane. <laughs> like a giant limo pickup monster truck thing. It's still a little bit, there's only like, not just this thing, everything. Rocks are still a little bit slippery. Terrain and everything are absolutely motor up. To be fair, I've climbed up a lot of rocks and things tonight that a lot of stuff just wouldn't even remotely have a chance, so it's relatively good at climbing up rocks, it's just yeah, they're the thing, if anything, that they're just pretty slippy. There's like not really anything to bite into. A little tyre test. <laughs> we don't get really did a lot. You'll see a lot of damage getting taken the whole way through, but I don't know what health the tyres are. Uh, the suspension and everything's clearly like ridiculously high amounts of suspension because you can just go smashing it around all night. And uh, yeah, that's the way they've got around the whole damage mechanics is just give it that much health that you're going to take hits, but... You're going to be taking like, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour's worth of just absolutely smashing around the maps before it's an issue. Quick, uh, quick little look inside, pretty good. Plenty of room for your mates, get a few loafs in there. I don't think any of the dials or anything work, but it doesn't really matter. It makes no odds to me anyway. It's, uh, yeah, pretty cool. It'll be out the window. I do like the fact that they've just stuck some ridiculously massive tyres on it. <laughs> thing looks like a little jump now, but that was where the, uh, what was it, the JBE Tatron thing did a little jump yesterday. They've also added a couple of other things that I'll get around to later. I'm just kind of doing a quick video. I got all a bit behind on everything with, uh, yeah, like I said, Christmas. It went very well. It was really good. Uh, yeah, went around with my brothers for Christmas dinner, and uh, him and his wife, They, I have to say, they're really good at cooking, <laughs> and it was bloody nice. I was, uh, ate as much as I could. I was pretty stuffed by the end of it. Had a couple of drinks, and then, uh, yeah, originally, because I'm normally in bed at that time, 
I was going to come home and then my brother wanted help hanging a TV. Got an, uh, got a pretty massive TV, a 75 inch TV we were trying to put on the wall. <laughs> Looks an absolute beast. So uh, yeah, I didn't get home till late in the end because I helped him hang that. Had a little go in his, uh, he got his wife a, like this massage chair thing. <laughs> it is bloody awesome to be fair, I had a quick go in it. It does everything, it's like squeezing your legs, your hands, doing your back <laughs> all over. It was pretty good, I have to say, if I uh, got one. I just end up as like a gelatinous mess <laughs> about a year later when I've never moved. I'll uh, yeah, stick some wheels on it, we're good to go. As you can see, this thing now, I'm just ripping away through the uh, forest. Yeah, I feel bad for me uh, brother as well, Adam. Adam and his missus, Alex, and uh, their kid, my nephew, Riker, they've all been evacuated from where they are because it pissed it down with rain like that. On Christmas Eve they got evacuated Christmas Eve night or something which is pretty bad. They're staying with friends, they can obviously come around and stay with me if they want but we live fairly far away. Um, yeah so that was pretty bad but overall we all headed around to Dave's and uh, yeah it was a good night. And uh, yeah I got myself a few things, got a cup, got a cup with my name on it, Mr Lone Wolf. Uh, got a headset stand thing with my name on it, it's pretty good, a shirt with my name on it. I've got some various other shirts. What a difference a Dave makes one of them, which I can confirm is true. <laughs> Stocked up on a few more Dave stories as well as they are. I won't get into them right now. <laughs> They'll need some context explaining, but along the way at some point, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll get into them all. Going for another quick jump. I think I go flying through the forest again. Like I said, the trees kind of do catch you a bit, but for one, if you just keep flooring it and jiggling your wheels, they tend to just morph through you and get around the wheels and all sorts. And yeah, you can motor, motor your way through there pretty well. So again, even though it tipped, it just kind of, there's clearly a hell of a lot of weight at the bottom. When it fired up then, it like fired up in reverse for some weird reason, but it's all good. And I mean, I've been smashing it around, not for too long, but touch wood, I didn't have any bugs, anything weird going on with it. When you build it in the garage, it's so tall that it's kind of uh, hitting the roof and everything. <laughs> so it jiggles around a bit in your garage, but again, it didn't really cause any issues. Of course, you want to go Narrowboat mode deployed. I'll never suspect the thing. I mean, I've been driving around. I've not really found anywhere so far that I was able to drown the thing. It does as well. I don't think I've left it in this, but it's got like a flotation gearbox, flotation suspension, I think it was. I took that out. It sits a lot lower and everything, but I do believe it does float. I couldn't really get a very good example of it, and uh as much as I could have happily just been messing around with this thing for hours. Uh, yeah, I'm already a bit behind. I, I was going to stay up last night again and it didn't go well. I tried to go to bed. I couldn't get sleep still, even after being awake for like 30, 35 hours. Uh, I took some sleeping tablets in the end, did go to sleep. Now I'm up a bit late. <laughs> I'm up in the day when I'm normally asleep. I don't know. All back to front, but yeah, sod it. thought we'll have a little blast on the monstrosity and then I'll squeeze a video out and I'll be back later. At some point, and we'll yeah, give some more things from Tesla. Like I said, they've added a Paystar from JBE, a Freightliner. There is a couple of other bits and bobs, so I'll be checking them out. But of course, when this thing got added, I couldn't resist. I, I remember watching this years ago when TC Gaming was playing with like the Mudrunner version. And uh, yeah, as I said back then, I didn't have mods. I couldn't get mods on console for Mudrunner. So I used to watch quite a few of uh, TC Gaming's videos of the various different mods they're adding. Just <laughs> dreaming that one day I'll be able to drive this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, today is that day. It's pretty good. So in the end, I went for a little blast on uh, It's my second playthrough. Still didn't want to risk the first one, although, as I said, I was bug free. It was all not an issue. Um, yeah, just things like this. I mean, I'm leaving the Black River Garage. As I said, rocks, if anything, are the slippiest things that are a bit awkward. But there's nothing else that you could just start driving up here. Although, funnily enough, for those of you who remember, I did get the loaf up there. <laughs> it was funny actually driving this thing around. The amount of places was like, oh, I don't think I've ever been here before. And I was like, oh yeah, I did actually. <laughs> with a loaf. It's officially confirmed to me. I've been practically everywhere with a loaf. And there isn't anywhere I can't get with a loaf. The loaf is a goddamn horse or vehicle. This thing, yeah, it's a, a goddamn monstrosity of a vehicle. But in a good way. I did get a little bit overly keen here. <laughs> but again, 
anything else, you're just going to have to, as soon as you're caught on trees, to be honest, by now you probably wouldn't even be getting out of that, you just have to recover. But keep jiggling the wheels left and right. One way or another, we uh, climb our way out of there. <laughs> I wanted to see if it would just walk up, walk the front wheels at that rock. Which again, there wasn't, because there just wasn't enough grip. But the reason I mention that is, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, even the stock winch on it as well is pretty massive, so you can uh, fling it out, grab something that's going to flip you back, as long as it ain't one of those little trees or whatever that pop out of the ground. Like I said, on that Summer Proving Grounds map, there is like little trees that it always attaches to, but they never disappear once you've ripped them out of the floor, so it's a bit of a nightmare trying to winch the stuff on that, at least on these normal maps. Even if you do grab trees that pop out of the ground, you can just re, you know, keep hitting a triangle or whatever. Keep going for more stuff until you grab something that ain't uh, ripping out the floor. So I was driving over them things, got a little stuck, but the kind of, I don't know, hit boxes or whatever they're designed with uh, aren't necessarily the shape of the thing you're actually looking at. Yeah, this, pretty happy with it, to be honest. It just kind of walked its way up the uh, side of the garage and even managed to get the back end up there too so that's what I mean that the rocks are a little bit slippy but the fact that it actually just walked up a vertical uh, building is pretty cool and there we are I'm on top of the garage roof no crane needed so it's definitely weighted like some kind of weeble wobble thing Ooh, click me freight star uh, summit <laughs> fleet star that's the one So this is heading over to the farm, but of course, we have to try and go the uh, the awkward way. But again, you ain't getting over here with just about anything else. Maybe that small wrecker, if you put the big monster truck tyres on and all the rest of it. But I don't know. I think the fact that this thing's just got ridiculously massive tyres, even though it's pretty slippy on the rocks. I think there is just enough huge tyres spinning that they're going to clip on something and kind of, yeah, just work your way up there. Yeah, again. That's definitely what she said. That's what I mean, it's just a fun, silly truck, that's the point of it. And it's good, that's the sort of thing we, uh, yeah, there should be that option in the game. At least for a little bit. Doesn't mean you have to make it your, uh, your main daily driver, although, if I'm honest, <laughs> the thought has crossed my mind. So I'll cut it away a bit, but yeah, the winches as you can see can go pretty bloody far spotted that telegraph pole in the distance oh yes that's a bit of me and we're off see it takes some damage here I don't know what it is about that little route over the pumpkins but it absolutely deletes everything although again this thing's just got ridiculous health so it uh, doesn't really matter went to run over these trees to be honest between the way the tyres sort of glitch through and it's so tall and all the rest of it. However, when I was reversing, yeah, <laughs> got one of them. That'll do. Yeah, I think I hit that first one as kind of more the side of the tyre and it seemed to work that way, but either way, I don't care. I, to be honest, for the size of the thing and the way it all flies around and works and everything, you may as well, you're better off just sort of mostly being able to glitch through trees otherwise you'd uh, spend a lot of time getting stuck on all sorts and again whoever's made this I mean it's been back in the uh, yeah Mudrunner game as well but they clearly know the game they know what people I don't know it's just very well thought out like I said the fact that it can glitch through stuff the powers uh, the yeah the powers dialed up the damage is all dialed up it's just they know what SnowRunner and MudRunner etc is about and they've made it just hassle-free, silly, fun and it's, uh, yeah, over the top. So this is where most things are start to drown. I normally cut across from right to left across there in quite a few things recently. There's a drilling site over there, that's the bridge to the drilling site. It just jumps over that like it's barely anything. And as, as well, I like how fast it's just motoring through the water. It goes pretty shallow there. There's an upgrade on there. 
it gets deeper here, and again I was thinking, oh, I don't think I've been here, and then I was like, oh yeah, Scuba Loaf. Scuba Loaf was ticking along there in his loaf review video. <laughs> again, there is practically nowhere I've been without a loaf. And if I haven't been there, it's because I haven't decided to yet. <laughs> it doesn't mean I can't get there. Yeah, this is the Black River Crossing. Just to give you some idea of how crazy this thing is. I like as well the four-wheel steering, but it's weighted so low that you can actually do a nice sharp turn. Like I said, it's not trying to tip over every five seconds. Most things ain't going to turn around in that little section. And uh, yeah, this is the Black River Crossing that <laughs> he just doesn't even know is there, really. So I'll travel up here. Again, I have actually been up here in a loaf. <laughs> dolphin and loaf. He got his he had his dolphin wellers on, but still counts. It's all about your footwear. You get a loaf with dolphin wellers and go where he likes. Uh, yeah, it gets pretty deep here actually. <laughs> and uh that's about the only place where I sorta of got it the water as high as the actual Yeah, like truck rather than just the wheels. Here though. I think it's partly to keep you away from the edge of the map. The current was actually fighting me quite a bit there compared to normal. I kind of skipped around the edge where it was a bit uh, shallower. Got to here. Sad to say, kind of proved flat earth is right there. God damn it. That'll keep them going for about another two years. Yeah, on the way back, even here to be honest, the current seems to kind of just be going all different ways. I think in general this section is just designed not to fly through very quick. Still kind of looking like a narrow boat. But it's still not drowning. I didn't get anything to drown once, so... Uh, it's either got a snorkel right at the top of the uh, truck, or maybe even higher than that, I don't know. I'll find somewhere. Well, I need White Valley. I'll take it to White Valley at some point. And I'll probably do a review on this thing pretty soon, because, yeah... I could imagine myself enjoying <laughs> reviewing this thing. But I just wanted to make a video, let everyone know that it has actually been added back. I think it was added on day one or whatever when they released mods to console, but I wasn't able to get on them for a day or two because of that email thing. By the time I did get mods, they'd already removed it back off. Maybe there was a little bug or something. Um, I'm not too sure. I didn't hear any, anything about it breaking games, but maybe there was just some little, like, it wasn't wasn't flowing too well with console or something, so yeah, clearly they've removed it. I assume done a few little tweaks and adjustments, and it's back. And uh, yeah, it's well worth getting one. That's the part where I jumped in the loaf, stubbed his dick on the sideboard, <laughs> and then I was looking around, thinking, "Hang on a minute, it's about time I uh, invited a loaf along." Seen that little pickup thing at the back of it? I mean, long story short, it was. A little bit of fiddling was needed, but we got a loaf on there, winch to it, here we go. Loaf's got himself some monstrosity shoes. <laughs> that is exactly what he needed for Christmas. Goddamn professional, he can go everywhere. OG loaf, he's back. Although this one's on my second playthrough, it's not, it's got like, stock gearbox, lowered suspension, slightly smaller wheels. The horse is good, but a fully upgraded horse. That's when you really get the magic of the loaf. If you're driving around in unupgraded loaves, it's just not. Again, it's still bloody good for what it is, but it's not. It's not full horse. But as you can see, it's got a perfect winch point on the monstrosity. That's I basically stuck it from the side of the loaf to yeah, the monstrosity, and it's the winch is holding it in there pretty good. Going around, slapping some trees that are on the list from back in the day. Accidentally, I uh, didn't see. There's a telegraph pole there. <laughs> like, oh, my bad loaf. Well, he's all good. Can't take a loaf out like that. This is kind of that area. I think they have various trucks abandoned on here and stuff that you got to rescue. And yeah, this thing actually motors through swamps and everything. Hanging on. It's hanging on well. See that big tall conifer? It's time to let the loaf have a go. Bam! That 
tree has had that coming for a while. It was probably on the list. Most of them are by now. This is like the swampy area again. you got to activate some pumps or something to apparently drain the water from the area. Although I don't know if it ever does. Seen this little CK1500 there. I mean, it just gives you an example of the size difference. There's a loaf just looking at it. Like, do you even monstrosity, bro? Clearly not. Again, back in the farm, I wanted to have one go at whacking this predator tree. Because, yeah, if you've seen some of my previous videos, <laughs> I've hit it with everything. And it doesn't really budge, but again, the loaf with the right shoes, he's got it done. Things to get a bit wiggly now, I admit. <laughs> Loaf's kind of gone through, glitched onto the wheel, but he's all good. He's back. Like I said, life don't go down that easy. He's a goddamn professional. Now I went to go and see if I could drive over houses. I tipped. I think I kind of got the wheels locked between those two houses because even winches. It was just kind of yeah. It was it was in there pretty good. <laughs> so in the end, I recovered the monstrosity, but I just had to know. You seen the beating a loaf took. Oh yeah, I'm used to, not used to having normal sized winches again. <laughs> Trying to winch to everything over that way. Like, I'll have to go. We'll do it the old school way. I mean, just got down my horse with a vehicle, really. But yeah, that's about it for today's uh, messing around. I definitely recommend getting one of these. I, hopefully, it's on the list for a little while, but. You never know, so grab it while you can. Keep one around. I think once you subscribe to stuff, you kind of still got it whether they uh, remove it back off or not. See? Self repair and self healing. It's like a T1000 horse. And he's off. Uh, yeah, like I say, I'll be back later. There might be a slight little uh, fluctuation in the regular times, but I'm sort of trying to get back into the into normality. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's about it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.